editing the deep sea controller on the generator. This section of the video demonstrates front panel editing of the deep sea electronic 7310 and 8610 controllers. In order to enable front panel editing, ensure your panel is on as indicated. The machine cannot be running, so you have to hold the white check mark and red stop button simultaneously. This will take you into the editor display menu. To access other parameters, hit the left or right arrow. Pressing the right arrow once will take you to engine parameters. You can then press the up or down buttons to access various engine parameters. To change a parameter, press the white check mark button one time and the parameter to change will flash on the display panel. To change the parameter, press the up or down arrows to change it up or down. Once you have made the change, press the white check mark button and the display will cease flashing. You can continue to make changes to engine parameters by continuing to press the up or down buttons or go to generator parameters by pressing the right button. Again, repeat the steps necessary by pressing the up or down buttons. You can only change the main configuration parameters. Alternative configuration must be changed by using your computer software. Note the voltage parameters are showing single phase sensing. If you need to change your nominal voltage, press the white check mark button and the voltage parameters will flash. Press the up or down button depending on what you need to change it to. Hit the white check mark button and then continue adjusting parameters as needed. Once you have made the changes to all necessary parameters, press and hold the white check mark button and it will save the setting and take you back to the engine status screen. You can then turn the control panel switch to off. Connecting a deep sea controller to a laptop. This section of the video demonstrates how to connect a laptop to the deep sea control panel. First, you must access the back side of the control panel. Remove the two screws on either side of the panel as demonstrated. Hold the control panel open. Now you will need to connect the USB A to B printer cables using the square end pushed in the back of the controller as indicated. We recommend a 14 to 16 foot length cable. Once connected, connect the other end of your USB cable to the USB port on your computer. The computer then can read from the module and transfer the configuration files stored on the deep sea controller to your laptop screen. The first step, once you read the configuration, is to go to File Save As and save this configuration with a unique file name. You can then begin making changes to any necessary parameters. Once you have made any changes to your parameters, resave that configuration using the same file name as before, but adding underscore revision one as indicated. Once you have saved, you can write this configuration to the module by clicking the Write to Module icon. Note the indicator showing connection made. You may then use the status menu below to monitor how these changes affect operation. As mentioned earlier in the video, the Mimic Screen option gives you the ability to start and stop the machine, to view various data, to see multiple parameters on one single screen, to view any alarms, and to download the event log. Once you have access to the event log in the status menu, it will bring up all the events stored in the event log up to 250. You can then read it from the screen, export the file as indicated, or you can even print it off if you are connected to a printer. If you have access to TeamViewer and an internet connection and are having issues troubleshooting a unit at this point, you can open your TeamViewer application as indicated, give HiPower your ID and password, and once connected, HiPower will be able to see exactly what is displayed on your computer. To disconnect, unplug the USB cable from the back of the control module, close the panel, and resume operation.